There needs to be a shift in the thinking of the UK population as people prepare for the growing threat from Russia to European security, retired Chief of the Defence Staff Sir Patrick Sanders has said. The UK armed forces lack the necessary scale, resilience and internal coherence to maintain a deterrent effect and respond effectively to sustained and intense combat, according to a report by the House of Lords Foreign Affairs and Defence Committee, The Telegraph reports. The report notes that all evidence points to the current size of the British Army being insufficient and questions whether the army is prepared for a possible war with Russia. The report aims to adopt the mindset of a nation under real threat, the media outlet reports. Patrick Sanders warned that the British would have to be called up for war if it began, as the army was too small. 72,500 men, the lowest level since Napoleon's time, journalists say. The text also states that the level of public awareness of the state of the UK's defence posture is disappointingly low. The report warns, the mindset of a nation under real threat is missing and there is an urgent need to invest in shaping public perceptions of the value of national security. A House of Lords Select Committee report, Ukraine, a wake-up call, said the full-scale war demonstrated the need to improve not only the nation's physical capabilities but also its resilience and psychological preparedness. It also criticised the alarmingly low understanding of the public's awareness of the true state of the UK's defence posture. The mindset of a nation under genuine threat is absent and there is an urgent need to invest in shaping how people perceive the value of defence. It warned, it called on Keir Starmer to develop a plan that resonates with citizens, emphasising the importance of national security in their daily lives and moving beyond the notion that defence is solely the military's responsibility. The media reports that Britain may adopt the total defence concept of Sweden and Finland where any discussion of war is seen as a matter for the whole of society and involves all sectors of government, the economy and the civilian population in defence planning. At least eight people were injured in an overnight attack in Zaporizhia, including a 14-year-old, Regional Head Ivan Fedorov said Thursday morning. The State Emergency Service released video of heavily damaged residential houses, windows blown out, and walls pierced with shrapnel. Ukraine's Emergency Service says 12 residential buildings were damaged in the city and 18 people were evacuated. Launching strikes against the civilian population, and doing it at night, is the peak of Russian cynicism, Fedorov wrote on his Telegram page. Russia is a terrorist country. The world must stop this arbitrariness," he added. At least three people were killed and 28 were injured Tuesday in a Russian glide bomb attack on a Kharkiv residential building on Tuesday, local authorities report. People are still trapped under the rubble. One of the multi-story buildings suffered a direct hit. The rescue operation continues, regional governor Ola Sinihubov wrote on Telegram. City Mayor Ayer Tarakov said third to the eighth floor of a residential building were destroyed as a result of the attack. The building that was hit in the Kievsky district had already been shelled at the beginning of the war. It was almost repaired, all the windows were installed, insulated, and prepared for the heating season. The enemy hit it for the second time with a glide bomb, said Tarakov.
открыла было, она была открыта. Ну, открыта. Одна была приоткрыта, а вторая была А цены было, то, что я в коридоре стоял, я по телефону смотрел, что на липце. А на липце это чего же? Очень было, то, что свист, а там взрывы, я все запросил, все посыпал. Cool.